welcome to my lecture on communication system there is a bit update on my blog so my blog is moved to my new location so the new location is the new location of my blog is this one that is https gate one solution dot blogspot.com so my previous location was uh, it is gate one solution not gate one solutions okay so whenever you click on this it will re redirect you to my new blog also so it will tell you that blog is moved to new location that is whenever you click here to go to new blog so it will redirect you to my new blog location so whenever i click on this so it will redirect you to my new location so in this blog you can download the pdf notes which uh, which i will discuss in my lecture series okay so likewise this is lecture one notes so whenever you click here so it will redirect you to, to download the pdf of discussed lectures okay so let's move on to our lecture that is lecture 8 okay so in this lecture we are going to study how to represent a signal waveform in terms of our basic signal so topic is represent signal waveform in terms of basic signal okay so what are my basic signal is my basic signals are zero to step impulse signal and ramp Okay, so we haven't studied this, but we have studied unit step and impulse. So in this lecture, we are going to study ramp signal also. Okay, today's lecture. So let's get started toward it. Uh, so my first problem is this. X of t is represented as x of t is equal to u of t plus 2 minus u of t minus 1. Okay, so how this signal will look? Okay, so u of t plus 2 will look something like this. Since it will start from minus 2. So this is u of t plus 2 then I have u of t minus 1 negative of u of t minus 1 so it will look something like this it will start from positive 1 okay so it will look something like this this plus 1 magnitude is negative 1 Here magnitude is positive one. So whenever I add both of these signal, what I will get is my resultant signal will look something like this. Since it contains zero here and it contains one here, so signal will look something like this from minus two to zero. It will like this and from 0 to 1 we can see that there is 0 here but there it is positive 1 so it will look positive 1 from 0 to positive 1 it is 1 but from positive 1 to infinity here it is minus 1 and here it is positive 1 whenever we add positive 1 and negative 1 it will be 0 so after this point that is after t greater than 1 my signal is 0 and for t less than minus 2 my signal is 0 okay so this is my problem number 1 so this is signal u of t plus 2 minus u of t minus 1 
okay so this is my ramp signal so my ramp signal is r of t the value of the signal is 1 at t equal to 1 and it is 2 at time t equal to 2 and 3 at time equal to 3 and this is my r of t minus 1 so the signal will start from t equal to 1 okay so the value of the signal is 0 at time t equal to 1 and it is 2 at time t equal to 3 and the value of the signal is 3 at time t equal to 4 so r of t is written as t into u of t i will prove this later first of all we will solve this problem that is r of t minus r of t minus 1 so we can see that uh, the value of the signal here is time t equal to 1 is 1 and here it is 0 so the signal will look something like this if i will plot this also so it will look something like this since the value of the signal at time t equal to 1 it is 1 here and it is 0 so it will let us say this is 0.1 so the signal will rise like this and the value of the signal here at time t equal to 2 is 2 and the value here it at time t equal to 2 here it is 1 so 2 minus 1 will become 1 okay so at time t equal to 2 the value of the signal is 1 okay now at time t equal to 3 okay at time t equal to 3 the value of the signal is 3 and the value of the signal here is 2 so 3 minus 2 will become 2 likewise at time t equal to 4 the value here is 4 and time t equal to 4 the value of the signal will be here at time t equal to 4 the value of the signal will be 4 okay so here it is 3 and here it is 4 so 4 minus 3 will become 1 so this is my resultant signal r of t minus r of t minus 1 okay so this time x is t this is my x of t so we need to note a point here is that when the slope of two signal become equal and opposite the net slope is zero and resultant signal become a constant signal so the slope here is zero from t greater than one okay and slope of this signal here is 1 from t greater than 0 slope here is equal to 1 from t greater than or equal to 1 okay so uh, the point is when the slope When the slope of two signal becomes equal and opposite, the net slope is zero and resultant signal is. become a constant okay so i will put this in a rectangular box okay so this is the condition because we can see here that at time t equal to 1 from time t equal to 1 the slope of both these signal is equal to 1 and r of t minus r of t minus 1 we are doing so the net slope of the signal is 0 from time t equal to 1 okay so this is the proof of ram signal that is r of t is equal to t of u t and minus infinity to t u of t into d of t 
okay so my ram signal is equal to t for time t greater than 0 and it is equal to 0 for time t less than 0 so my ram signal looks something like this this is my time axis so it is equal to t u of t okay so first i will plot t and then i, I will multiply it with unit step signal okay so T will look something like this. We'll cross zero point. Uh, this is T. Okay. And my unit step signal will look something like this. So when I multiply both these signal, I will get this signal because this signal here it is zero. Zero multiplied with something is equal to zero okay and one multiply with something is equal to one so this is fine okay now i will move toward this also that is minus infinity to t u of t into t of t so i can break this point as minus infinity to negative zero u of t into t of t plus positive 0 to t ok so for interval minus infinity to negative 0 that is at this point q of t is 0 so this signal will become this part of integration will become 0 0 for interval minus infinity to negative 0 okay and u of t is equal to 1 for t greater than 0 so this will reduce to 1 into d of t for t greater than 0 okay so what i will get here is t okay so it will become t 0 to t so t minus 0 equal to t so we can see that it is equal to r of t is equal to 0 for t less than 0 and it equal to t for t greater than 0 this is the result we are getting this is the definition of my ram signal itself so it is proof So thanks for watching this lecture. In the next lecture, we are going to solve more problem on the signal and how to represent waveform from these basic signals. Please share and subscribe to my channel and uh, I hope you are enjoying my lectures. Keep learning. Goodbye.